What's up you lovely people? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about Apex Legends Season 6 and my top tips and tricks for any newcomers and beginners that are coming back into the Apex Legends game. But this video is going to be split into four different parts. So number one we're going to be talking about Rampa, her abilities and how you can counter those abilities. Number two we're going to be talking about the implementations that Respawn have put into the game, some of the tweaks they've made. Number three we're actually going to be talking about my top tips and tricks and how that can help you dominate the pups platform in Season 6. And number four, before we're just going to round everything up and conclude and end the video. So if you do enjoy this video make sure to give it a like, smash that notification bell and subscribe because I do gaming and react videos every Monday and every Friday and every two weeks on a Wednesday I do PC and tech videos for educational purposes. So if that's your sort of thing then make sure to give my channel a sub, support it, turn that notification bell on, it'll mean a lot to me. So let's actually get straight onto the video. So number one, Ramper. Definitely a big pain in the backside I tell you that, especially if you're trying to put Push her and she has high ground, amp cover, and her turret, Sheila up. You're in a world of pain. Full stop. So, what I've learned, I've done this tip video and taken approach to it of playing the season six for a week. I haven't done what the other people do, where they just straight up do a tips and tricks video at the start of the season, and it's like you haven't played the game long enough to even figure out what to say. Personally, anyway, much love for everyone, by the way. I'm not I'm not like targeting people, but what I've done is I've actually played the game for a week and then I'm rounding up everything and giving my tips and tricks for people that are new. So, ramp up. Let's start off with her amp cover. Amp cover is a very interesting implementation into the game and her base as soon as the two prongs on the side reach the top. Her base metal plate takes around 400 damage to take and her amp shield or amp wall however you want to say it takes around 108 damage for it to be destroyed. Good thing about this is every time you shoot it it actually shows up and stacks up the damage implementation to the right part of your hit cursor is really weird and tells you how much damage you've done. Really good way to counter her shields is as soon as she plants it down shoot them straight away shoot them don't hold back just go straight for it the reason why i say that because it takes around 15 damage for it to destroy so from the other side obviously you see that the wall is orange but let's talk about from the other perspective and if you're behind the wall interesting thing about the wall is that when you shoot through the wall it applies some sort of like amp rounds it literally provides amp rounds so it provides more damage and does more damage to your opponents and it actually increases it by 20 percent the best way i can describe this is 70 damage body shot from a sentinel and when you shoot it through the amp cover it increases by 20 percent up to 84. bear that in mind it's kind of a little guidance for you lot to take on board when it comes to shooting behind the cover. Interesting thing to note is that Crypto's EMP can instantly destroy the amp wall but can't affect the turret or the base plate. So that can actually be helpful if you run in a um, Crypto and Corsic main or even a combination of the bow. You can actually just destroy the walls and then straight away throw like discs in there or even your gas grenade and then flush them out. Also another counter is that you could just flush them out with nades. So you can do the exact same thing in Crypto, destroy the walls and then flush them out with nades and destroy every single opponent. The thing about the turret, it refunds up to 50% charge. This only applies to guns that are fully loaded. So picking up two fully loaded turrets will fully refund her ult. But even if it's missing one bullet, it won't refund any charge. You want to be sure to just reload before packing your turret up. Keep that in mind, it's a very good tip to take. Corset gas does damage rampart amp walls, just letting you know, but not the actual wall in itself. Another interesting thing to take from Ramper is that only bullets are amped by the wall, nothing else. So arc stars, thermites, grenades, they can't be amped up. Caustic main grenade can't be amped up. Bangalore and Gibby's airstrikes can't be amped up either. So don't be an idiot and try and do that. Now we finish Ramper and introduce some of the counters you can do with her. Let's actually talk about implementations of what Respawn have done with the game. First of all, let's talk about the weapon rotation. They've actually put the R99 as a care package weapon, implemented the new SMG bolt as a pickup weapon. That's pretty decent. It actually seems like they've taken on the role of putting energy weapons as the main purpose and the main go forth in terms of fighting in pups. Also, the devotion is now back in the pickup weapon section, so that's a pretty interesting thing. The hemlock has been superiorly buffed by quite a bit. When I mean a bit, it is being buffed by quite a bit. Vertical burst fire is being reduced, and the amount of burst fires you can do is actually being increased as well so 
I believe that the Hemlock is now the new meta, buffed to the point where everyone should be using it. The Triple Take is now being paired up with a Precision Choke, so there's no longer the need to go find a Precision Choke anymore. It's just being implemented with a Triple Take. So now the Triple Take is actually a beast, and from pickup, you can use it as a shotgun, so that's fun. So let's talk about the crafting system. So throughout the Apex Legends map, you get to see that there is a lot of blue tube and how they can be consumed for material. And if you see in the top right corner of your HUD, display you get blue symbol and how many materials you have you can actually acquire quite a lot of these and then use it to craft ammo and weapons med kits knockdown shields anything that's on a weekly rotation anything that's on a daily road when you use the crafting system on the left side it just shows what ammo you can craft that relates to your weapons so if you pick up an energy weapon and a light weapon it provides one stack of energy one stack of light heavy shotgun one stack of heavy one stack of shotgun and so on and so on another interesting thing to take on when it comes to the crafting system is that in the, as soon as you go up go on to the crafting system on the top left you see that you can put your evo shields in yes the game is actually implemented so everyone wears the evo shield now it's actually pretty good i've been waiting for this for so long and respawn i love you you've done the right thing putting your shields into the crafting system can actually decrease the amount to the next level by 100 if you needed 250 to get onto the next level you can reduce that by 100 so instead of 250 it actually takes 150 to get from blue to purple number three we're actually going to be talking about my tips and top tricks that i've taken on board since season three i've been playing this game since season three and i thought i'll give myself a week of season six to gain as much experience as i can and shoot it out to you lot for any newcomers and beginners that are coming back into the games so number one i actually wanted to go through this and i don't i have not seen many people do this this is not related to the game whatsoever just a heads up it's actually related in windows so what you want to do is actually you want to right click you want to go into your windows and go onto your setting what you want to do is go on your devices and then you want to go into your mouse as soon as you click on this main screen i'm going to throw a video up right now um, you want to go on to additional mouse option and then what it does it gives you this hardware properties and what you want to do is go into the pointer options and you want to go on to motion don't mess around with the point of speed that's perfectly fine what you want to do is mine's turned off but what you want to do is turn yours will be on and you want to turn enhanced points of precision off and then click apply why because that deactivates the mouse acceleration that you get in games it helps your points of precision drastically and it can improve your accuracy take you a game or two to get used to and then you're back to normal literally it helps you out i think that but that's the most important tip to do is to turn off your mouse acceleration in windows my Second tip is all about comfort. What I would think to do is adjust your seat to the right level so that your arms don't feel like they're reaching after the keyboard, but also not sloping down and feel like you're playing like you're standing up. Adjust it to the right level where your arms are nice and rested onto your table and so they can touch the keys without giving your hand and arm some fatigue. Make sure you've warmed up. That's probably the most important thing to do. Go into the training ground, provide some warming up sessions. I'll provide that on the screen right now practice with all the weapons practice everything what grenades you're going to be using the recall patterns in your weapons which leads on to my number three tip number three is understanding your weapon understand the recall patterns that e respawn have implemented into the guns for example hemlock hemlock only goes straight up so and slightly to the right so what you want to do is when you shoot the weapon pull down on the mouse not fully not ridiculously but you understand what i mean slightly down and to the left when you do the burst fire shots very simple understanding your weapon recoil patterns and everything will make your life so much easier and any sort of meta weapons you handle will actually just make it more of a beast to you because you could just dominate people because you will understand the recoil patterns we're going from the first three tips we move on to number four so fast pace pickup fast pace pickup is actually very important when it comes to running around the maps and understanding what you need to get and what you need to pick up at fast pace because everyone else in season six it's got to be very fast um especially for any advanced players that are playing they are gonna be picking up weapons fast they're gonna be picking them up faster than you and they're gonna try and kill you so in order to do that is understanding what you need 
to pick up, understanding what's in front of you, and then just pick it up straight away. Number five, my advice is not to hold grenade in your hand when you're chasing an enemy. Why? Because that opens you up for the enemy to just shoot you down. And by the time you throw the grenade, it takes you a few seconds to get your weapon out. And if the enemy or opponent understands this movement, then they can just gun you down in seconds. So number six is be aware of your surroundings. So having headphones or any sort of gaming headphones can enhance your hearing by a lot and understanding where enemies and people are around you and what steps and movements take place around you as well. So being aware of your surroundings can help you a lot, especially in game. Another example is if you are in a high intense battle and you win it, take a look and take notes of your map and the amount of time you have before the ring closes. It gives you enough time and enough preparation if you do have the time to collect as much loot, collect grenades and get the hell out of there. Syringes, whatever, get yourself prepared and get the hell out. So understanding your surroundings, being aware of your surroundings, a very crucial tip for number six. Number seven is actually helping your teammates out and understanding them, understanding what they need, understanding if they need help with anything. It's always, it's always crucial to try and give much information and detail as you can. Having a mic is very helpful, but if you do have the time to type, make sure to do that. I know for a lot of console players, a mic is gonna be your best friend. Um, same with PC players, but I know like people can type quite fast, so you can make them do that. But yeah, helping your teammates out is a very crucial step for number seven. Number eight, it's gotta be thinking ahead. When it comes to one to one situations, any sort of group situations or interactions, you gotta think ahead. You gotta think of your next move quickly. You gotta try and outplay your opponent. An example is like a bloodhound scans you, and then what you need to do is move from the position you are standing in right now to a complete different spot so they don't know you're there. Looping around on them, flanking them, doing whatever, that's thinking ahead. Simply maybe throwing a grenade down so they can't push you, that's also thinking ahead. Simple little things like that allows this tip to pull off really well. I tend to do this quite a lot. I tend to like throw grenades down if people are like trying to push me or if I can hear them. Or I can tend to like climb on higher walls and loop around them and try and flank them. That's always thinking ahead. Tip number nine, and this is quite a crucial tip to take on, is always move when you're looting. I know it's a bit of a difficult thing for console players, and I'll get onto that in a minute. But for PC players, moving while you're looting is a very crucial step, and a lot of the pro players do it because what it does, it allows you to be constantly moving and it's harder for any people who are trying to shoot you to take you down. So moving while you're looting, scooting while you're looting is a very nice tip to have. But for console players, obviously looting is a bit of a difficult situation. Having a Bangalore is very helpful and having a caustic is very helpful as well because you can find this trap sound and shoot and then it's hard for people to see. But to actually join with this tip is always move while you're shooting or always keep your movements up. Slide jumps, any sort of movement, little like crouches here and there, little dodgy movements. <laughs> always try and outplay the opponent can always put you in a higher advantage and get you a kill. That might help a lot of console players out. It actually helps a lot of PC players out too, help myself out. While I shoot, I tend to like do a dodge and weave, a little duck and dive, duck dip dive and dodge. And I can always win, not always win, but I can gain a higher advantage over the opponent. So take that in mind. Tip number 10, or another tip I would like to point out is height advantage and gaining high ground. I think what Respawn have done with season six is including Ramper into the game. Combinations is, I think it's forcing you to gain higher ground and keep an eye. It's, it's now like around the whole meta and it's made people think more tactically. So if any newcomers or beginners are coming in, going guns blazing is not the best way to go anymore. It's more taking strategic time and strategic thinking and finding out when is the right time to attack. If you need to gain higher ground to guard it, that's what Respawn are trying to do, I believe. I think taking on season six is, it's still fast paced, but also keeping high ground is a very crucial step and a creative very crucial tip for you lot to take. My final tip for you lot for any newcomers that are coming back into Apex Legends is to use the hell out of the crafting system. Gain as much materials as you can. You can actually like unlock materials by unlocking crates, opening supply boxes and anything. Abuse the crafting system for weapons, med kits, syringes, knockdown shields, anything that the crafting system provides you, take full advantage of it because that could actually turn the tide of you losing or winning. Um, I know like, if let's say if you kill a squad but another squad's coming in and third part in you and it's quite difficult to get to the loop then if you find a crafting system that can actually help you and save you the game by giving you some materials and some extra ammo some extra syringes to help you turn the tide over and possibly win a game but i believe that's the third part done my top tips and tricks for newcomers and beginners that are coming into the apex legends season six i believe these are pretty decent tips for you lot to take on board it's definitely helped me I've actually gained an increase of my KD ratio up to two, bang on two, and my overall kit for the new season 
and my overall KD is now up to 1.1, 1.2. I know some people that might not seem high, but to me, taking on these tips and then taking them on board has actually helped me a lot. To round up the whole video, so ramp up, amp cover can take 180 to the amp wall and it can take 400 to the base. In order to counter that, destroy the walls as soon as they get planted, before the prongs hit up and nade flush them. Implementations, be aware that the R99 is now in the care package and is not a pickup weapon. The Volt SMG, the Devotion are now pickup weapons. The Triple Tate has now been paired up with the Precision Choke and is now a full thing. So bear that in mind. And I believe that Respawn have gone the energy weapon approach and heavy weapon approach due to the decrease in vertical recoil and the increase of burst fire shots from the hemlock and also the prowler as well that's also been reduced its vertical recoil on burst fire mode and automatic is still the same a crucial step to take is slide jumping gaining some height advantage on your enemies thinking ahead and helping your teammates out being aware of your surroundings is probably the most important ones fast pace pickup is helpful but don't be alarmed if you don't find any weapons just go to the next building and there'll probably be some loot for you out there too if you did enjoy this video make sure to smash that like button down below and if this video did help you out and any of the tips i said did help you out make sure to comment in the box below and let me know that will make my day a whole lot better like i said i do gaming and react videos every monday and every friday and i do pc and tech videos for educational purposes every two weeks on a wednesday so this wednesday i'm going to be doing a tech video so stay tuned for that this has been your host known t people and i'll catch you on wednesday's episode